U.S. President Joe Biden and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz emphasize their shared responsibility for the continued support of Ukraine. It comes as part of Biden's trip to Berlin and is followed by closed-door meetings with other European allies about Russia's war in Ukraine and the conflict in the Middle East. Today, the Chancellor and I are going to discuss ongoing efforts to surge support to Ukraine's military, to shore up Ukraine's civilian energy infrastructure, which is under constant assault and bombardment from Russia, and to help Ukraine recover by unlocking the value of frozen Russian assets. To shore up Ukraine's civilian... Schultz echoed Biden's sentiment about continued support and applauded the strong alliance between the two countries. However, he also expressed skepticism over Ukraine's victory plan and stands by his refusal to supply long-range weapons. Mr. President, from Beginn des Krieges an haben wir uns über den Atlantik hinweg ganz eng miteinander abgestimmt. Das hat uns stark gemacht, das hat das Bündnis stark gemacht und das werden wir fortsetzen. Unsere Haltung ist klar, wir unterstützen die Ukraine so kraftvoll wie möglich. Earlier in the day, the U.S. president was awarded Germany's highest honor for his contribution to transatlantic relations. The Order of Merit was previously also bestowed on U.S. President George Bush for his support of German reunification.